Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. During this video I'll be showing you how to make your own notes in Unity. So to show you the final result of what this video is going to be showing you. So I have a note here you can see on my sample scene and when I get close to it I get this press E to interact kind of message and when I press E you'll see this note popping up in the screen and if I were to either press E or go away from the node you'll see that it will get deactivated so let's get to it and what we're going to need to actually do this first of all i created this um node using a cube you can see that the name is actually cube and if i were to go to the filter you'll see that the mesh the cube i just scaled it down on the y-axis to be very little and very thin as you can see it's very tiny and i also have a box color to it and also the node script which is uh, going to i'm going to show you in just a bit what that does I also imported an image that you saw for the node and I just went on to paint and wrote this is a node that is all for that node and drag it onto the canvas so for the canvas you're going to need to do a couple things first of all it's the node so you're going to need to create an image and then drag in the uh, PNG that you uh, created from I don't know from paint or whatever you want and it's important to note that you may not be able to actually drag in it on the uh, available spot. So you can see that there is a source image there. You may not be able to actually drag it in. And that is because these may not be on the sprite and you need to change it. To, so first of all, go to the image selected and change it to the texture type to go to sprite. And this will allow you to include it in your user interface. So that is for the image. I also have a message that is just a text that uh, we're going to be enabling and disabling from our script and okay so that is all that is the event system that we don't really care that is automatically created from the canvas so that is all for the canvas and the things that we need to create um, for the player now we need an additional game object that I have included onto the player you can do various things and various variations of this to create a node for example you could have added this onto the node but this will include uh, having it for each node that you want so this is a bit more scalable and this is like a different solution to uh, the door that we made a couple of videos ago so this can apply to the doors as well so um, I named it player interacting range and I added a box collider to it which I've set to east trigger you can see the box collider is kind of bigger than the player uh, so this is kind of the range that the player can reach and interact with objects into the scene and you can modify your script from the door if you did that uh, to be accommodated in this object as well and on this object you can see in addition to the box layer that is set to each trigger there is an additional script so we're going to need two small scripts for this video so let's uh, have a look at them so the player script that player node script that you saw just now that is attached to the player has two variables one is the active node so in case there is uh, the player is within the range of a node we're going to be storing that node in this um, object and there is also the interact message that is included onto the canvas that we need to enable and disable we're going to getting a hold of this message to its name on the stun function and also deactivating it on uh, the start as well because we don't want it to be enabled during the whole game we only want it to be active when we're close to it then in the active uh, well um, let's go on to the on trigger first and then go on to the update so when we are getting onto when we're colliding with a new collider so whenever we're getting in range to a new collider we're going to be checking if it's a node so checking its tag to be a node and then trying to get the component of the script so from the uh, node script that we have above so the other script that is attached to the node we're going to try and get it from the components of that game object and we're going to be sending out our uh, variable that we have above which is an of type node script and then we're going to be activating the uh, message on the UI to notify the player that we are in range to get the node so th that is all that this does um, it doesn't actually activate the node that is going to be done in the update so in case if there is an active node in our variable right here so in case this found something and kind of populated our active node we're going to be checking in the update if this is null or not if it's not it means that we have a node and we're going to uh, be checking afterwards if uh, the player is also pressing the key that you assign to be interacting with objects in your world 
I've just assigned, assigned it to be on E. So in case the button is pressed as well and the node is uh, has something in it, so there is a node in the script, so we got a hold of a node. We're going to be tackling uh, the node so through the script right here. So uh, just to show you, briefly show you the very small script that we have on the actual node. We get a hold of the node that we want to be activating and that is done through the inspector. You can see it's public. So each node is going to have a different kind of image that it wants to pro uh, portray onto the game. So for each node, you're going to be changing it onto the inspector. And there's also a Boolean variable that is going to be say, kind of the, the status of the node, if it's active or not. And we have a function here that is going to be called from the player node script right here. Which is going to be tackling the uh, status and the active status of this node. So if it's false, it's going to be turning it into true, and vice versa. If it's false, it's going to be turning it into well, false to true and true to false. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. Um, and then I'm going to be setting the active of that node to the new status. So that is all that is doing is just switching the status of the node. And then we have also have a getter function to get the status from our uh, player node here. So in case we are going to be exiting, so we have an additional function here on trigger exit, so which is uh, triggering whenever the player leaves this range. We're going to be checking if the object that left our range is of type node. And if it is, we're going to be getting the status of the node. So if it's active, so in case this returns true, this means that the node is still visible into the UI and means that we need to tackle it. So we're going to be turning it to false right here, then getting the active node to be null because we're no longer in range. We don't want it to be stored in our um, in the memory of the script. And we're also turning off the interact message. So um, that is all for the scripts. Hopefully that was understandable and you can copy it. Uh, as you like and kind of modify it and just to show you uh, the final result something that I forgot to mention is that you do need to uh, for the node here, right here you need to add a new uh, tag that will be of type node so just click add and write node that is all that you need to do and okay so this is all that I wanted to cover hopefully you found this video useful and just to show you one last time how this looks like uh, if I were to run it, you can see that no, this thing did not activate because this needs to be uh, initially deactivated. We don't want it to be active. And you can see the message will be uh, turned off by the script. Then we get close to the door, we open the door, and then we interact with this. And you can see that I'm able to toggle it from true to false. And then when I leave, you can see the message disappearing and also the node also being disabled so that is all for the video hopefully you found this useful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe onto the channel for future videos if you want any videos to be done by me any questions that you have please comment them below thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and goodbye